the things we did there apply to the national level and if they do not apply exactly then we will up the discarding pinoy natin yan at hahanapin natin kung paano gawin para it applies in the national level um your grandmother was also a librarian at the state she was a teacher teacher yeah. And what then, in that regard, is your stance? Uh, what religious agenda in terms of education? Uh, well, very first, very simple. We have to strengthen the educational system because in in recent years, the budget of the out of the national budget, 50 percent used to be spent on educate on the educational system, on supporting the teachers, on building school rooms, on providing textbooks, all of, all of those normal. The the past years, our budget for education as a percentage of the national budget has continued to decrease. Whereas before, umabot na tayo sa 50%, now we were averaging rather 50%, now it is 16%. And the, it is very clear the effects of that uh, lack of interest and attention uh, that national government has given to education. And so, and at the time when we were spending half of our money on education, we were the most literate country in Asia. We, had the, we were the best English speakers in Asia. We were the best trained workforce in Asia. We had the best educational uh, system in Asia. We no longer have that. Uh, we, don't, we, we cannot say the literacy rate is exceptional. In fact, it's rather poor. We cannot say that uh, we have enough. We don't even have enough school buildings. We don't have enough teachers. In, in the province, you ask for 35 items na bagong teacher, they'll give you three, four. If you're malakas, six. And that's simply not enough because the, the population is growing. Uh, we don't have enough school rooms. Pati textbook, may scab. Pinapakailan mo pati textbook at pinagkikitaan. So with that kind of attitude towards, towards education, it's, it's immediately wrong. And the first thing I think that we need to do is to, well, in a way, you have to start building more the infrastructure. You have to build more school rooms. You have to have a better system of supporting the teachers. You have to have a better system for procuring school supplies, for putting together the material that it would be better quality for the students. And, and although that sounds simple, it's a massive endeavor because like you say, if you say, oh, itaas natin ang sweldo ng mga teacher na limang piso. Limang piso lang times 500,000 ka agad yan. So the system is a large one. So even little changes will have a big effect. And it's simply kulang talaga, kulang ang ginagastos natin, which is ridiculous because it is clear to me, anyway, uh, apparently it's not clear to this administration, but it is clear to me that Education is the most important service that the government provides its citizens. It simply is. And we are not doing that. This gov government no longer provides that, that service. 16% of our national budget, we don't have anong shortfall. Now, anong nangyayari? That's why ako talagang champion, talagang pinaglalabang ko local government. Look at the initiatives. We have cities now that own universities. We have cities now that put up their own schools that hire their own teachers. Why? Because national government's not doing its job. And this is another example of why I ran. Because they're not, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. They are not helping the situation of ordinary Filipinos on the ground, at the ground level. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not doing their job. And that and education is a primary example of why, of why uh, government, national government has neglected its duties as a, as a government. And so, again, it will be to, to, to my more direct answer to your question. First, we need to support the teachers. Uh, give them more benefits. We have to give their children more scholarships. We have to make sure that they get paid on time. Um, although I must say that I, I think the, the new system of uh, Secretary Lapus has uh, begun to kick in and that, that, that problem is beginning to be solved. We need to build more school rooms. We have to train more teachers. We have to train what teachers we have. We have to train them better. Uh, because they didn't, I remember a few years ago, they gave the teacher one of the exams the, for, the, for the students and she failed it. So that, that's, that's, not, that's not a good situation. So it's really, 
basics na naman yan eh. Wala namang, wala namang bago dyan eh. Wala namang bago dyan eh. So we just, that, that is my view that uh, we have to, and it will take money. So we'll have to have the political will to take more of the budget, of the national budget, and direct it towards our, our school system. Will you support, uh, for example, an increase in the number of years in college or uh, college? Uh, because right now, uh, with the Bologna Treaty, most of the people who graduate from college are actually underqualified, so they have yeah. to take an extra year or so. I, I think if the quality of the education is, is, is improved, you won't need the extra year. You won't need the extra two years. If the teachers are well trained, if the facilities are, are sufficient, if the school supplies, if the equipment that's available to the school, schools is sufficient, then they will be qualified when they graduate. Uh, in the first place, why, why are they graduating them when they're not qualified? It's just to make statistics. At masabi lang na nag-graduate kami ng ilang new town. But that's a, that's a fiction. That's an administrative fiction. You have legal fiction. This is an administrative fiction. So let's not uh, let's not believe in these fictions that uh, the bureaucracy uh, has started to has started to involve. Jennifer, and then next. Okay. Ask me. Uh, I'd like to ask something about the uh, monetary policy of the national government. <laughs> okay. Uh, during the time of uh, President Marcos, you My recall. Uh, we were in a better off position so far as the national budget, national indebtedness is concerned. We had good purchasing power, and our coinage was very respectable. Yeah. Just see the peso, just see the two peso points, and look what went is now, and look how much our national debt is now. Four trillion yeah. from the time of uh, your father. There's something wrong with the monetary policy because the, the, the issuance of our currency right. does not seem to be controlled by the political government. And I think this one of the reasons why the father was uh, conspired against it, it because it, he resisted that. Well, My question now is, oh. as senator, how would you address the national debt? Well, we, we, that, that, we were, we were, the problem with the debt, with uh, our national debt, is, is already present. Uh, you cannot really, you cannot have asked them to condone that debt and to just simply say that we will stop paying the service, the debt servicing, uh, will put us in a very poor uh, situation. Should we need to incur more borrowing? The problem is not only the level of debt that we are suffering under, but what that money that we borrow is used for. It's all right if you borrow money, so long as that money is used in a way that will provide some kind of advantage to the society. Maybe not monetary, but at least you have better health, you have better education. Uh, but in the end, uh, all of these things are quantifiable. So if, if, you're, if what money you borrow is used properly, then that's all right. There's really nothing wrong with that. But the way that the things that we see now, we the the, debt, the borrowings are incurred only to cover up mismanagement in government because they weren't able to do the, what the, the the job that needed to be done with a certain amount of money that, that was available, and it is the easy answer, and they don't they don't like to talk about it. I mean, every single sauna I sit there and I listen to how wonderfully well our economy is going, and I look. And I leave the Batasan building and I look out down the, the road and I see we're not doing well. I don't know 